Okay, here's a short video covering equivalent resistance. Alright, so in this problem what I want to do is find the equivalent resistance between uh, the terminal points A and B. Alright, so I'm looking at this and I'm trying to figure out which resistors are in parallel, which ones are in series, and so forth. So let me recopy this and paste it where I can write over it. Okay, copy. Alright. Paste this image. Okay, so I'm thinking here that I need to identify what's in parallel and what's in series. And, you know, it's the kind of thing that when you see it, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, you have to stare at it a while maybe to see it. But I would start by noticing that these two guys are clearly in parallel. All right, so once I know something's in parallel, I can find the equivalent resistance by doing 1 over R plus 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 inverse. All right, so when you type that in your calculator, uh, I believe you get 60 ohms. All right, so at that point, what you know is Here's in a circuit, I can replace this 400 stays, but this can be replaced with 60 ohms. Two sixty and so forth. All right. So at this point, I can work with this circuit. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now what I'm thinking is this particular path through here, that's the same current flowing through all these resistors. That's the definition of them being in series. So these three are in series, and so I can get the equivalent resistance of those three by just adding them up, 400 plus 60 plus 260. Okay, so I get that to be 720 ohms. So now what my circuit looks like is I take the original 70 and the 240, and I replace that with 720. Okay, and then I look at that, and I say, oh, these two have the same voltage across them, so those are in parallel, all right? So to get the equivalent resistance of the two in parallel, it's 1 over 240 plus 1 over 720 inverse. And you can calculate that, and I get that equivalent voltage to be 180. All right. So now what we have is change the colors yet again. Now what we have is the original 70. And replace the parallel combination with 180. And here's terminal pair AB. I look at that and I see oh, that's the same current flowing through those two resistors, so they're in series, and so the equivalent resistance for RAB would be 250 ohms. So that's the answer.